again, episode six on air, and today's guest is Jose Rosario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, everybody? What's doing, up, man? too? Everything's pretty good, man. Pretty How's everything? Good. Uh, I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah, it's been a minute, man. It's been and, a uh, minute. You're looking a lot older than I am. And older. Ooh. And you're younger. Ooh. Come on, baby. See, see, I accepted being old. I just shaved my head. You haven't accepted it yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Uh, just well. Still hanging in there a little <laughs> bit. But uh, today's topic is going to be. Well, it's going to be the the pros and cons to being in a music group. Okay. Uh, you should know a, t- a thing or two about that, June, don't yes, you? We, yes, we do, man. The good and the bad. I don't think you like being lonely. I think that's why you you always stuck to a group, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. We was in a group, you know, and um, the good thing about being in a group is that uh, it's a little lighter work as far as work ethic, as far as, you know, getting the songs together, the ideas and stuff. And um, we actually learned how to make great records, right? Am I wrong? We did. We did. Shit. Um, <laughs> you said it's lighter work being in a group. It's, light, it's lighter work, man, because you only you know a verse here, a hook there, maybe a bridge here, maybe you'll skip that song, you know. But what if you're the only one that's putting in all the work and everybody else oh, is well. slacking? Then it becomes more work because now you're babysitting. Exactly. But now we we actually great workers right now, so we get these records done. Okay. One one good thing about it that we did learn how to make great records, so. What was your favorite one that we did together, June? What was your out favorite? of those nine joints we did? What was your favorite one? Favorite one. Puerto Rico was a hit. Puerto Rico. And we're talking about our old group called Los Gladiadores. Los Gladiadores. That was managed uh, by Jose Rosario, Capitol Hill Entertainment. It was a great run. Yeah. So we had Puerto Rico. We had a funeral. Um. Viento y marea. Yeah. Um. Produced by? Well, it was produced by myself and um, uh, Marcus Cohen, uh, Kano. Uh, shout out to Movement Studios. Yeah, yeah. yeah out yeah. Uh, Norristown, PA. Yeah, he's still doing his thing. Still doing his thing. Shout out Kano. Great work and um, always did great work. Um, and the cons? Well, what, else, what, what else do you think it is, uh, is the pros? I mean, you know. Well, the pros was, you know. Uh, it was lighter on the budget, as you know. Cause lighter we, on the budget. Yeah, yeah we yeah. actually spend a lot of money. You yeah. know. And, um, Do you think uh, when you were in that group, everybody had a different fan base? Because when you're in a group, you could bring, you know, say if you did a show, you could bring, you know, 50 to 100 people, you know, and you times that by three, four people, you know, you could instead of only having like a, you know, little small uh, yeah, yeah. venue with a, that only holds, you know, 50 people. Now, now you hold in like. Three, four hundred. Yeah. We actually was you know? bringing a nice little crowd, and a lot of people was expecting us to blow up, but um, things went a little left. You know, everybody wasn't built for this type of uh, work ethic, I guess. You know, I mean, what you think? yeah, I mean, you know, to me, there's always more uh, cons being in a group. Just from experience, oh, yeah. than than pros. I mean, yes, different minds, but different minds can lead to conflict. Yes, you know? yes, a lot of conflict. <laughs> we know all about a lot of I, that. Listen, at one point in time, we had uh, right in my crib, we had Hector Camacho going Ooh, against Tito Trinidad. I, I remember that. You know, and it was a bad look too, man, because it's like, wow, we all in the same team, people throwing you know, punches we, and. We didn't have ropes or none of that. We no didn't have ropes. trainers. We didn't have you know. spit buckets, mouthpieces, oh, none of that. Oh, man. <laughs> you know? And then in my man's house, too. No. I, listen. No. No, <laughs> that was terrible. But, you know, we, we live and we learn, and um, I guess we had to learn the hard way, you know? Shout out to everybody that, you know, gave us a hand. We had yeah. answers. We had all these things coming up for us, man. Yeah. A lot of things was, 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 was coming about, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know, you know, not not everyone is always on the same page. You know, some are lazy. I guess you would call it, like I was more of a tyrant. Yeah, ha- everything had to be done. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, and and you know, um, but but that's just how I work. I'm I'm a very, you know, perfectionist. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, no, for real. How many? Sometimes we had to go to the studio and re-record the same song at least three times. 
That's yeah. a lot of money, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it wasn't free studio time, so, you know, it was a lot of hardships and, you know. But what was the hardest thing as a manager for well, you? Handling, like, the different personalities. That, that's always what it is. I mean, because you got one person that probably, you know, is striving to make it, wants to make it, you know, you know, like you, you know, you yeah. went you know, we went hard, man. We went you hard. You know, you, you lost some of your hair trying to make it, you know? <laughs> you know? Jose getting at me, y'all. Don't believe him, I right? Don't believe him, I right? <laughs> You know? He dyes his hair, people. He sound like my uncle. You know, he dyes his hair, see. you know? Yeah. I just let it go natural, yeah, the yeah. distinguished look, see, see. you know? The salt and pepper. Yeah, that's right, you know? That, that's what the females <laughs> like. They don't like this fake stuff Never going on, dyeing your hair. Ain't no stuff. dye, baby, okay. you know? Nope. Sound like my uncle right there. But, um... Back to what we were saying, um, Jose Buggy, y'all. I'm happy to see him here, man, for real, on air. Um, Jose Rosario, man, was a good dude, man. He always was about his word. So when he said, yo, it's studio time, fellas, be ready. You know, we had to drive 45 minutes away to get to the studio. Uh, the records was incredible. We still have them. Um, what else could I say? I mean, Jose was a good dude, man. And, uh, our relationship kind of got a little, you know, messed up a little. We can say that, you know, because now that's the past. Yeah. Because certain people always want to be crying. Uh, we're not going to put no names out there, but, uh, you know, the, like he said, different personalities. Everybody's not built for this type of game. So... Jose started seeing that after a while, you know, the guys went here, the other guy went over there. Yeah, it's hard. You know, I, I mean, when, when you're dealing with artists, you know, June's a great artist, but he has a curfew. You know, he's a married Ooh. man. He has to be in by 8 o'clock. Don't you believe know? him, y'all. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. You know, so I, you know, it's hard to work with that. We had to be up, like, you know, sometimes, you know, I felt Late like I was nights. going to church, you Go know, ahead. getting up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Go to the studio. Who goes to the studio at 10 o'clock in the morning? Ooh. You know? Because we got to make sure, you know, this old man get, you know, gets his rest. You know? I got to get my rest. I got to get know? my rest. But, um... 801, his wife, he's calling. Where is he at? First of all, I don't even know how she got my number. Y'all believe him, right? Y'all believe him, right? Y'all believe him. <laughs> June RTS got a curfew, y'all. Don't believe him. But look, um... Yeah, man, we, we did a lot of great works, man. Um, we actually started, uh, we rented that spot, right, to uh, rehearse. Remember? That was a good yeah. look for us, too. Like, we yeah, actually yeah. started feeling good. Um, great production again. Um, the work ethic was ridiculous. Like, after that, we started dropping hits after hits. Uh, what was your favorite joint? My favorite? Uh, I have two. I have two. Uh, oh. fu uh, funeral. I, I thought Funeral was the most catchy song that we that we did. Yes. You know, and then, of course, you know, I really, you know, one of my other personal favorites is uh, Viento. Viento y Marea. Because I had a good message behind it. It did, it did. You know, did. and... Um, um, Wasn't that know, our first song we did? One of them. Viento Marea was the first one we did. That's the first one we did. Um, yep. Because that was something that you already had written. Mm -hmm. For the most part, before we even started working, you just didn't have. I think you even had some some form of production behind it, but we tore it down and, and rebuilt yeah. something brand new behind it. Yeah, from scratch. You know, from so. scratch. So, you know, and and I'm thankful, man, because we actually learned how to make real records. So, um, right now, you heard our new material. We yeah. actually, you know, know how to create. So, yeah. it was a good experience. Then, it went a little left, do again to, you know, different personalities. But uh, that was a great lesson. Well, well see, that, that's what happens when you're, you know, when you're in a group, you know. Um, see, when you work by yourself, you know, and this is... When you work by yourself, when you mess up, what happens? You only let yourself down. Yes. But when you work in a group, this is a problem. This is why working in a group, you have to make sure that all minds stay on the same page, have the same goal. You know, and, and 
as easy as it sounds, it is probably the most difficult thing to make sure that you do is to stay on that same page because, you know, when you when you don't make it as a group, you know, you have multiple people that you yes. have to, yes. you know, and sometimes the people that question, you know, whether you're successful or not are the ones that are really yeah. that contributed to the failure. <laughs> and it know? was a big loss because it was a big investment too. Uh, I can actually say I can't remember exactly how much we spent on Puerto Rico. But it was oh. up there. That was actually a live band Jose yeah. had uh, picked up for that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quattro, Everything was quattro player. I mean, live saxophone, flute. That flute. That that was crazy. How we got a flute in there. Yeah. Who would ever associate a flute with? Yeah. Reggaeton music. Yeah. You know? It was actually like a tropical. Yeah, tropical yeah. reggaeton type. Yeah. It's de definitely a different sound, you yeah. know? We had big plans for that song, man. Yeah. I actually yeah. seen that song in my mind coming out in like uh, commercials, like cruise commercials. Yeah. Uh, we got it played in the radio a couple times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had yeah, great we things, man. We had a great I mean, time. We, we I know it was had, stressful for you. Man. I mean, we had, you know, people that didn't even understand uh, Spanish music, like Bernard Resnick, who was our attorney. Oof. You know, he was loving the music. And Bernard he, Resnick. I mean. This guy, uh, what, what, he's an attorney. He top, was, top lawyer in Philadelphia. So if you're ever looking for uh, a, an entertainment attorney, mm -hmm. I mean. This guy's Alicia Keys. I mean, I mean his walls. He's is, managed Lady Gaga. Lady Lady Gaga. You know, Stephanie's her name. Lady Gaga's from you know? um, PA, right? She's from... Um, no, that's Pink. Pink, 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 Pink. He had Pink with him, too. Well, Pink is his cousin. Look at that. Wow. So we had one of the best attorneys on our side. Yeah. Expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> Just for me. But reasonable. He but worked, reasonable. He, he worked with exactly. your budget. You exactly. Know? He doesn't hit you over... He doesn't hit... You know, starting off artists over the head, and that's what I like about him. And he, and he's very easily accessible. Yes, yes. You know, and he was putting us on early with the digital game. Yeah. I mean, he yep. was letting us know, yo, it's all gonna be digital. Yeah. To this day, you know, he still sends me, you know, happy birthday. Oh, he's a great dude. You know, yes, I yes. mean, very a lot of emails. Very, very humble guy. Yes, yes. So um, today, you know, we're going to do a little preview of a song called No Es Un Juego. Me and Jose about to take a little break. We're going to come back and uh, give you the cons. As we said, the pros, we didn't get to the cons. We touched well, a little a bit. A little bit, a little but, bit, but, you know, it's a lot more than, you know, what we just said. Yeah, so yeah. it's like uh, we be back with Jose Rosario. All right, all right. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, toast. No es un juego. This ain't no game, motherfuckers. Peligroso en la calle, te soy sincero. Te soy sincero. You know we ain't playing no games out here. Cogelo en serio. This, 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 this ain't no game, ain't no Parker Brothers. Make me park this brother with this spark. Give his head apart, but I ain't no barber. I should start. June, let me loose. Got me in the booth, so I'ma shoot. Need an extra ladder, take this nigga. Want some proof? That's my nigga Chaz. He escaped the feds. Go see Mac. No nigga keep a strap. Boo butt in the back. Bitch was cracking. We them Jersey boys. Came in on the map. Boo, you lacking what I got is phase. Niggas in a way. Running late to our early grave. All I gotta say, I'm getting paid. If it's 20 of us, split it 20 ways. Hit up toast. Burning through that bread. He played with them K's in the fell. Told me give him hell. Ring that nigga. Ain't no jail. I'm the hottest out. Pop him in his mouth. Just for speaking. Leave that nigga leaking. Body Cement, then we out, party like the weekend Hope it ain't no tweaking, got them text Cause we coming deep and rolling with them Ricans no on the set juego. Yeah, we back again with Jose Rosario. Absolutely. How are you doing, June? Pretty good, pretty good. We just got finished hearing No Es Un Juego by June RTS, Zayheem, and Main Toast. What you think, brother? I, I really like it because it's definitely not a game, and the streets are not dangerous. But I tell you, there's one place that's more dangerous than the streets. This man's home. Ooh. Let me tell you about something about his wife. Let him know. Ooh, bad. His Jose Rosario. His wife will kill him. 
let let him come me. let 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 him come in say at two thirty in the morning, you know, two in the morning. He don't when even it, got time to stop at a Wawa for a sandwich. Uh, he got to be here at two a.m. on the dot. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> got to give me fifteen minutes to come from Philly. You yeah, know well, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. We club out Philly. You know. <laughs> so when a club closes, June is to get back home. You know. <laughs> Don't take advantage, fellas. You know what I'm saying? That's your problem. Y'all take advantage. And um, I'm pretty lucky, man. See, I got you beat. My curfew's 2.30. So she, she lets me at least get a sandwich. Man. He's trying to get off. You know, he's getting points because he know his girl going to watch this. And he's trying to get some points in there. So uh, 2.30. Let's give him 2.30. 2.30, yeah. yeah. Once you start touching the bed and she don't feel nothing on the side. Ooh. See, but that's him. He already told me that's what his wife does. He, oh, she, yeah. she reaches out for him. If he ain't, if if he's not laying in the bed, I'm done. That's uh, when the home becomes hey, look, crazier I had one than the streets, right? When I first got with my girl, yeah. I went out with one of my homies called uh, Hamsing El Enviado. He was a, a reggaeton singer, yeah. and we got so lit. Got home <laughs> two o'clock, two something, two fifteen, two fifteen. Drunk as a whoosh. Drunk as hell. I don't know how I made it home. I must have been God. And fell asleep out in my car in the back. <laughs> and it was like 10 degrees outside, bro. I didn't feel shit. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. All I was just hearing a knock on the, on the, on the, in the window. I opened my eyes. I was cross-sided, brother. <laughs> and after that, I told myself, man, I got to really chill, man. Because it's not a game. Well, let me... So, 2.15, what, what time does she find you? How far is Philly from here? Philly, about 15 minutes. Depending where in Philly. Where in Philly, you know, uh, where, we, where we club at, um, um, uh, Center City. Uh, okay, Center City. The furthest City was um, Cuba Libre. Was it Cuba Libre? No, um, no. Vieja Colombiana. Vieja Colombiana That's is about 20 minutes from here. Fuck no, it's like a half hour. 20? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You live out PA, don't you? What, what, see, yeah, I live in Philly. Okay, okay. So, yeah. See, you probably, and, don't, and that's know, a real, no, you uh, probably don't know the shortcuts. That's what it was, the fucking GPS. You want to take all the main all streets and God. hit all the lights and everything? Yes, yes. <laughs> the GPS, fucking GPS. So what time did the wifey find you outside? I'm going to say 2.20, 2.15. <laughs> So she was already looking for you. Bro, she looks like Michael she was Myers. On Michael Myers out there. Not, so not only is 10 degrees, so you got your wife out in the cold looking for you uh, at 2.16 a.m. Yeah. That's... That's dangerous, man. My wife is dangerous. So does she have to carry you? She's Puerto Rican, y'all. She's Yo, Puerto Rican. So is mine. Did, did your wife have to carry you in, or did you walk your I ass in? Walk my ass and drag my ass out. Man. What happened when you got I in? I was about two ten at the time. And what happened when you got in? Uh, I didn't give a fuck. I was drunk as hell. I just <laughs> run my ass to sleep. Like I you didn't went to bed, or were you on the couch? She must have been screaming. Uh, maybe the couch. <laughs> 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 have you ever had experience like that? Where if you got drunk and you know. Sometimes you're just vulnerable, man. You can't. My wifey summons me to the couch all the time. Yeah. Late poker nights, you know. Nah. Oh yeah, uh, you he uh, he's a mean <laughs> poker player. I remember that. I'm about to go to you know some poker. late late poker nights. Uh, especially if I lose. Ooh. You know, if I lose, I definitely got to see the couch. <laughs> So you, know, you let her know. That, that's like you going. So you letting her know that, you yeah. lose. Well, well, you lost that night. I won't even go to the bedroom if I lost. Wow. That's Jeez, just that's because I'm ashamed of myself, you know. So you're a good poker player. I well, I, <laughs> I try to be. You try to. Be. I try to be. You know, I get my ass handed to me. That's that's what's been happening to me. I you know, it, a lot of luck is involved with poker. Yeah. You know. I know. One and, of my cousins played poker, man, and I will never go with him again to the casinos. His ass you ever like play? Damn, seven hours fucking. Oh, 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 Wait, you, you got craps? Fuck no. Craps. Oh, craps. I thought you said you got the craps. Jose, I'm like, Jose the Joker. I, I was thing. about to say, well, you know, you know what I'm saying? We got, got raid crabs, over here that we could shoot it. down there. Stay away I mean, from the crabs. I, <laughs> Stay away from the crabs. Wait. You ever, uh, I know they don't, they got a place around here that, uh, Joey's Seafood or something like that that. What, what's that place that got some oh, crab? Joe's Crab Shack. Joe's Crab Shack. I don't Man. like it. They fucking, they's dry, man. 
Is it? Yes. We gotta go to um, what is it? Texas out here. Um, Delaware. Delaware. Hear that? He tries to avoid paying taxes. Yes. But by the time you drive out there. You know, the gas, gas the tolls. Yeah, it's not too far. Well, no there. tolls going to Delaware. Yeah, it's not but... too far. It's not too far. Uh, so back to the cons. Yes. What's the cons to the, uh, being in a group? Well, what, what, what was the worst thing that you experienced with the gladiators? I know it was a lot, man. We was talking about this earlier. Funny, some well, sad, some like, you know. Well, like I said, it, it, it was a different personality. Everybody of, you know, because... You know, at one point, uh, if you remember, uh, was it because uh, Killer, he uh, he didn't leave the group. He just moved. Yeah, didn't he, he move to move. Florida or, or Georgia? Al- Alabama. Alabama. So when he left, then we had uh, Jerry came, you know, came aboard. Not to take his you spot, know? but to, you no, know. But, to j- you know, spot, Jerry you know? definitely added, you know. A little different flavor. Very to the, different flavor. Yeah, yeah. You know. It was a good dude. Ve- so, you know. Good, good person. Very Jetty, professional. Jetty. Yeah. Hello, Jerry. I haven't seen you in a minute, so how you doing, boy? Puerto Rico. He'll be back, man. We'll be getting back together. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and then it was uh, you. Uh, the prima donna. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, my boy Larry. Shout out to Larry Green. The prima you know, donna, man. But I told you about him. You Nothing against him. Nothing against him. But, wish I, but you warned me, though. I you ain't gonna lie, man. You warned me, and... At the same time, you know, you knowing me, I always, I'm always a loyal dude to you, yeah. to whoever's around me. So when that Loy- happened, loyalty to a fault, to a fault, to a fault, because yeah. sometimes when you're that loyal to somebody, mm. you kind of like you don't recognize what's happening yeah, right, right in right, front you're of right, you. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was kind of uh, blind to, you know, being too nice at the same time, and uh, we paid for, we paid our price, man. We lost a, a big investment. Uh, your time, your money, our money. Yeah, we we all know. put, but uh, I don't have no regrets. You know, I don't have it, no it, regrets. It, it was a good learning experience. Um, but what did you learn from it? Uh, I learned that uh, everybody has to be in the same page. Definitely. Everybody wasn't on the same page, man. This guy want to do this. This guy want to do that. One thing I could say that was a good thing was that we made great records together. And um, cons again, I mean, you can't. The group thing is not gonna work, man. If now you had to, if you had to do it all over again, would you do it the same way? What would you do different? This time, man, we we just gonna be straight up forward with them. Like, look, you about this? You not about this? Guy's about this. That's it. Friend, no friend, family, family, whatever. Like, you just gotta be straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? But nobody's ever gonna. I mean, let let's face facts. I mean, not everybody's gonna tell you um, if they're not gonna be about it. Everybody's gonna be, be about, about it. it at the moment, right? You know, until they start seeing the. Uh, but that's the, the thing. You gotta know when to cut the cord because when you start seeing those, those signs, signs early, you just gotta say, okay, it, that's it. It's enough. We had a lot of signs. <laughs> we had fights. Yep. In the house, fights in the restaurants. Oh my! You don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> it's just Sorry. funny. You, so you know what? What happened? Some people is not so is not used to being around restaurants. So what happened in the restaurant? Remember that? That's so petty. That was a petty ass thing, man. I was embarrassed. My, you know, um. It was a situation about a tip. No, you know, we, we used to, I mean, you've been to restaurants. I've been to restaurants. Some of these dudes ain't been to restaurants before. They don't know what's a tip. If they see something that costs $25, they pay $25 on the dollar. Why is you, that? You got the waiter looking you, at somebody. You see that like, a okay. lot in the hood. Why don't people tip? Why well, don't I mean Maybe I know they we just get, got twenty five dollars? I, I mean I know I know we're getting a little bit off topic. We'll off get topic, right back. But you know we're talking but, about the cons. That was yeah, part of yeah, our, yeah. our cons. I mean some people are just so damn cheap. Maybe they didn't have it at the time. You know? I mean, and then go to your ashtray, get people, an extra dollar or something. Right, and not even that. Then 
Other people start getting mad. You was getting mad. Cuzzo was getting mad. I'm getting mad. Now we are at the end. Jose said, man, fuck this shit. Threw the money on the table and just laughed. <laughs> you know, here, that's it. This ain't nothing. Which is true. I mean, but you know, you live and you learn, man. And sometimes you just, I always say this. You can't take everybody everywhere. You can't take everybody everywhere, man. Some people just don't know how hey, to That's act. a shame. You can't take grown men. Let me tell you something. Grown men... <laughs> Sometimes unpredictable. Or, and listen, no disrespect to women, but we can be more more like bitches than bitches. <laughs> you One know? of my homies used to say that. Arguing about the than... stupidest shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Sometimes uh, our girls don't even see what will be happening behind. Oh you know, God. they be thinking we out there partying shit. We out here arguing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Over petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, the cons about a lot of things is just the hardships, man. You know? The bills. Because we had bills, man. We, we had studio time. Sometimes, like I said, we had to go to the studio yep. three times to do one record. I mean, how much is that? It wasn't charging yep. cheap for that. You know? Buying the beat on yeah. top of yep. that. Yep. And when you're a family, man, you know. You got bills. You, you have bills. You know, shout out the killer gangster. Yeah, shout out killer. I you miss know, the you, other boy. dude too. But um, you know, cause everybody, you know, had a struggle to get their paper. Like I had a struggle too. Like I had my bill. Sometimes you know, we went to the uh, what was it? The we went to? Shit, I bought a three hundred dollar suit. Oh, you bought a bag in that yes, suit that day yes, too. Yes, My girl yes. looking at me, nigga. We you just bought the, a three hundred dollar suit. The, the Hispanic, Damn right, I the, bought a three. The Hispanic, Hispanic Choice, Choice Awards. Awards. I bought a three hundred dollar suit, ladies and gentlemen, trying to look good. Doing RTS. I mean, that's that was the uh, the goal to look good, to look representable. You know what I'm saying? They had that brown joint with the, with the yellow joint. So when I was big, remember? I used, yeah, yeah. Oh, but look, man, my man, I mean, yeah, let's, you know, how, how much you weighed at the time? I weighed. He's keeping it real. He looks good, man. It's a whole different time, dude. I weighed 477 pounds. How much? 477 pounds was my heaviest, wow. June. Yeah, that was heavy. Yeah. But guess what? You wasn't like a bad looking dude, you know? Like, for being a big guy, like you know what I'm saying, you was like oh. some some sort of Shook Knight, Puerto Rican Shook Knight type dude. Everybody call me but Big Hove, Big, big Pun, Hove. you know. But yeah. you know to sweat when you walk three yeah, steps. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that, I it remember. wasn't good. I remember had to carry a towel with me yeah, everywhere I, I went. That's you when know? we first started, man. Yeah, you was pretty intimidating too, like, you know. Somebody that didn't know you, but you always a good dude. They weren't intimidated. They were afraid of me falling on them. Falling that is. on them, boy. You body <laughs> slapping shit out the motherfuckers. But uh, you how, don't how, how you feel now, though? I mean, you I, lost, I feel how, good. How, how, how much you lost now? I, I mean, I weighed two hundred and seventy pounds. Uh, well, like two sixty-eight to nah. be exact, and you, you know that, great, that's man. like. That's like taking June off of me. That's it. You just <laughs> took the whole body and just threw him out. Yeah, that's true, man. And you feel you know, great, right? I, I mean, feel I feel good. I mean, uh, although, you know, still other than being old, getting older, you know, other things start to hurt, like the knees, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> arthritis well, look, starts check it out, though. In. Um, Do you still battle, like, with foods? Like, you know, us Puerto Ricans, you said it, man. We uh, eat nasty as hell. I mean, the food be tasting good. What chops, I'm trying to say is unhealthy. Fried chicken, still rice. Still I'm yeah, I mean, I, 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 I might not look like I don't weigh a lot, but I did have a little health problem, you know, with a lot of eating. I was bigger, actually, than this. And uh, some people will be like, oh, you ain't big. You can bro. I, was, I think I was Hispanics, getting... we have a horrible diet. Horrible. We love everything that's bad for us yeah, and yeah. nothing that's good for us. When's the last time you've seen a veggie on your plate unless it's mixed in with the rice? With the rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Chuletas, penil. Bro, when when uh, I had my little you know health problem that I had to slow down eating, I just went to Puerto Rico, bro. I was looking at everything like, wow, here we go again. Everything fried, everything's fattening. And I was like, man, I, I'm never going to get healthy. Just because the people that we are around always eating so good and unhealthy. That's a terrible combination. Yeah, yeah, it well, tastes good and it's unhealthy. Like, come on. Can't win with you that. You still eating unhealthy. Then you could just go through two or three bags of Skittles. Skittles. I, I mean, looking like Marshawn Lynch over here. Come on, man. I got to stay up. Man. I got to stay up. Skittles don't make you healthy. 
But guess what though? I mean, um, I eat less. That's why you still Yo, I go to Cherry Hill Mall. You know Cherry Hill Mall. And I go to uh, the Italian Bistro, bro. And I used to just tear everything up in there. And I used to just walk feeling like bloated. Now I go and I eat half. You eat half and save the other half for late. For later. And what's later? As soon as you get home, you throw no, it? No, hell no. Later is in late night. And that's the worst thing. Well, that, that's a problem, too. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, but he's a working man, you know. You got to eat. You know, you got to eat. eat. Work so all day. See, that was part of our cons. We used to do music and Ovo take us to fucking <laughs> Philly Diner. Yeah, That's yeah, when we went to Philly Diner in uh, uh, Deptford. Yep, yep, yep. And come on. That's what we used to do. Work. And then I remember one time we had a, 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 a studio session. Then after that, we went to a photo shoot. And uh, remember that? You don't remember that? The photo shoot. Yo, was she it? lost mad weight. What was her name? Vanessa? I still Vane- remember. Yeah, 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 Vanessa. Bro, yes. she was a little, you know, chunky girl. She was in, you know, fat big or whatever. Shoot. Yeah. And now cute. she's like slim. Like she's, uh, I haven't seen her in years because. Uh, don't I used let to your have wife know you keep in tabs on her. Oh, hell no, no, no. Boy, no. she's going to know now when she's she sees know this. Now. Babe, you already know where I'm at. <laughs> See, he's already baby. trying to bail himself on out. Air, baby. Look at him. I'm a good boy. But uh, stay healthy, people. That's all I can say. And, uh, oh, man, I'm happy for this guy right here because he came a long way, man. When I say he was big, he could have been anybody's bodyguard, really. But it's not about being big and, you know, being a bodyguard. It's about your health. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Keeping he- Hey, skinny people get uh, strokes. You know? My man, Alcángel. I remember you told me one time you didn't like him too much. Remember Alcángel? The Ar- reggaeton singer? The no, artist. actually, I really like Alcángel. He told me back in the day that you didn't like him too much because he was, like, girly. I don't know. I say that was his style. Like, he was a little... No, um, no, I'm a big Arcangel fan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he just had a stroke. He did? Yeah. And he's bony. I'm going to say bony next to... So it's like it ain't about being skinny or big or whatever. Just your health is your health. It's what you eat. You know what I'm saying? The toxins. The smoking. The drinking. Just this and that. So you know what I'm saying? So, um... We got my man Hove here. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hope we get to work again, man. I, man, I haven't. Uh, how, how long has it been since I seen you last? Uh, was it the club? One time, remember my cousin locked the keys in the car. I got this old footage. I'm gonna be putting all this out. So. Um, no, remember she locked the no, car no, no, in the, and we was in the club. Oh. Was it the park? The baseball park? RTS family <laughs> shout outs. You no, know. I seen you after the. Did you come here one more time? Uh, before yeah after all that yeah you were like, showing you know, me the, the the studio you were yeah. showing me um matter of fact you were still with um and i'm gonna take this time to you, not to cut you off to apologize to this guy right here because it's like we was talking sometimes your loyalty will just throw you off balance and and he was giving me the early signs of you know stay away from certain people they're not about this stuff um, not to t- get off the topic, but uh, uh, you're a great dude, man. You was about your business, and you always told me, June, man, I see that you business savvy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Compared to the other dudes. And then I I'm always saying? tell you, I could really see you making it as a solo artist. I always yeah, told yeah, you that. Yeah, and that, and that and was I, my, you and know, I was always my encouraged that. I was being that. a good dude. Yeah. Because you was just. You was, we wanted to work with me, and I was like, nah, I got these other two dudes that I want to get involved yep. and whatever. And then you was like, you know what? I'm going to trust you. Let's do it. We did it. Everything was going right until, you know, things went a little left. But uh, you, was, you always showed me that you was about your business, man. Yep. And, and, and it's not that I that I wanted to stop working, June. It was just... You know, it you was gotta, too much. You, you, too well, much. Well, no, you got to understand, uh, three years ago, I lost my mother. So that, 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 that took me in a whole different direction yeah. co- career wise yeah, you know yeah. I went back to school I'm still in school you know work, work, working on my degree in nursing Woo. Um, smart dude man uh, bachelor's in nursing and then eventually went to pursue uh, my doctorate degree in nursing um, so it really had nothing to do I st- listen 
you tell me that you really you want to work on a project, I'm here for you. You know Definitely, what I'm saying? Man. I'm I'll, I'll be that. right on board again. Same here too. You know, you um, know. but this time you know have have a little bit less time, so we would have to really you know yeah, take some you know, time. You know, here you know, and there, sit down and, and strategically you know set out up. you know yeah. chop it up and see what we're gonna do. But uh. You know, definitely, definitely. It was good seeing you. Definitely, you know, man. I love you. Always have. You're like a brother to me. Same thing, man. You, you already know. know. Mi casa, su casa. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Rosario, Capital Hill Entertainment. Always. And he here. Peace. All right. See you. <laughs>